Hey everyone, welcome back to My123Cents right here on YouTube.com and I have been quite busy over at My123Cents.com with the blog and also JitteryMonkey.com, iTunes, or Stitcher.com with My123Cents, the podcast. If you listen, I appreciate it. If you don't listen, I encourage you to download it and share it. And uh, if you've done that already, I do from the bottom of my heart thank you for that. So now that the cheap plug is out of the way, let's talk about this new concept that I have here for the YouTube channel. Hopefully every Tuesday this is going to drop as uh, an episode called Three Count. And this concept is simple. It's kind of like the WWE's top five that they had do from time to time. But I'm looking at different aspects of wrestling as well, sharing my opinion, my one, two, three cents, if you will, for the whole idea of Three Count. And since April is Couples Appreciation Month, I'm going to start there with three of my favorite couples of all time in the world of professional wrestling. In at number three, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Missy Hyatt. And let me tell you something, Missy Hyatt was one of my very first crushes in the world of professional wrestling. In fact, she was my first crush in wrestling. I remember her coming into world-class championship wrestling with Hollywood Johnny Tatum. The two wreaked havoc while they were there, eventually moved on to Mid-South UWF area. Uh, working for Bill Watts, where Missy and Eddie Gilbert then started uh, teaming up or having a relationship, and Hot Stuff and Hyatt International was born. You had wrestlers like Sting, Jack Victory, Rick uh, Steiner, all a part of that uh, little corporation, that little faction, if you will. And, uh, you know, they worked really well together as a couple, and I believe they traveled along and uh, hit some different companies along the way. I remember there being a feud with Eddie Gilbert uh, and Jerry the King Lawler, where Lawler won and Missy had to be um, the king's uh, slave, if you will, for a day. Uh, and I remember she had to do all kinds of things. And uh, there was an article in a wrestling magazine back in the day in one of the aftermaths. Shattered Dreams here for number two. It is Goldust and Marlena, another real-life couple who, uh, you know, when Goldust came on the scene nearly 20 years ago, uh, I enjoyed the gimmick right away. When they added Marlena to the mix at the 1996 Royal Rumble, it just seemed right. She balanced out the character and uh, brought it some more depth and more personality. And uh, the two were successful uh, together until, uh, I guess, about a year and a half they worked together. And then, of course, there was the breakup and then Goldust joining forces with Luna Vachon, but uh, Marlena and Goldust, definitely one of those couples that I enjoyed and still have the action figure to this day. And number one, no surprises here, oh yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage and the lovely Elizabeth, may they both rest in peace. Um, you know, when Macho Man came to the WWF 30 years ago, I can't believe it's been that long, 1985, he didn't have a manager, all the managers, all the male managers wanted him in their camp, and it wasn't until he introduced us to the lovely Elizabeth, who was his real-life wife um, at the time, and the two just had this chemistry. It was the beauty and the beast kind of thing. Savage was such a savage, and she kind of balanced him out and, and tried to tame him, but of course, always quick to defend her honor. And uh, of course, the two split in 1989 when uh, Hulk Hogan... I got involved with the Mega Powers, there was the explosion, and of course, uh, two years later, at WrestleMania 7, the Ultimate Warrior defeated Savage in that retirement match. Sherry, who was uh, with Savage at the time, put the boots to him, and Liz comes back out, and I remember cheering and, and popping and marking out like crazy. I was 18 years old, too old to be doing that, but you know what? I bought into it, I lived the moment, I loved it, and so uh, for that reason and many others, they stayed together off and on on screen and then eventually split up behind the scenes, but uh, they had such a, a great chemistry and when you think wrestling couples, to me, Randy Savage and the lovely Elizabeth top that list. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to My123Sound.